Mike, are you ready for a migraine test? No, I'm not a little nervous to be honest. Keep it just like Photophobia, photophobia, CGR. Micah, I really don't get this. I think we should watch this. Suppose that you time travel back to the 1800s and are working in the dynamite factory of Alfred Noble. As the work week goes on, you notice that many factory workers, including yourself, are experiencing headaches, very strong migraine headaches. After asking around a little bit more, you also notice that those headaches disappear over the weekend when everyone is not at work. Coincidence? Maybe. Or maybe you've just discovered that nitroglycerin, the active ingredient in dynamite, is the cause of these mysterious migraines. So what is a migraine? When most people hear the word migraine, they often think of migraine as a headache. Migraine is much more than a headache. It's one of the most prevalent neurological disorders and a leading cause of disability in the world. Migraine is a complex disorder highlighted by moderate to severe headaches accompanied by other symptoms such as nausea, photophobia, which is sensitivity to light, and phonophobia, which is sensitivity to sound. Individuals living with migraine commonly report throbbing, pulsating pain, typically to one side of the head. There are four phases of migraine. The first is the prodome, which can occur three hours to several days before the migraine. The second is the aura, which can happen five to 60 minutes before the migraine. The third is the headache itself, which lasts anywhere from four to 72 hours. And the fourth is the postrome, which can occur one to two days after the migraine. Pain associated with migraine can be so debilitating that many migraine patients often report missing work days and not being able to perform daily tasks. Having a family member that suffers from migraine might increase the likelihood of an individual being diagnosed with migraine. Migraine attacks can be present in early childhood, however, they're most often seen in early adulthood. And there's also a sex component to migraine, with women being disproportionately affected more than men women are three times more likely to experience a migraine. So what do we know about migraines? Migraines are best treated preventatively through a combination of healthy lifestyle choices such as proper sleep and nutrition. Animal studies have shown us that calcitonin gene-related peptide, CGRP, and nitric oxide donors, like nitroglycerin from our dynamite story, are well-documented migraine triggers. CGRP monoclonal antibodies are medications that target CGRP and CGRP receptors. Triptans are another class of drugs used to treat migraine. These drugs act on serotonin 5-HT receptors. While these are powerful tools for treating migraine, at best these medications are effective at treating 50% of the patient population. As you could tell, we've learned a lot about migraine going all the way back to our dynamite factory days, but there's still a huge need for research into alternative medicines for treating migraine patients that don't respond well to traditional medications. All right.